on these new styles. Yes, hi, I'm Christy, uh, also known as Wigan with Christy. And my name, I guess, is too long for our live system. So it only let me put Christy. So if it just shows Christy, you can find me at Instagram and on YouTube underneath Wigan with Christy. Um, and I've been with Wig Studio One for six years. So uh, I became, I started wearing wigs just over six years ago, found Andrea, I think like three days into my journey and have been a part of Wig Studio One since. So we're so looking forward to connecting with Envy and partnering with you guys. And I'm looking forward to this live. So thank you for having me a part. Oh, do you want me to say what I'm wearing? I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Do <laughs> Tell us what you're wearing and tell us the color. Okay, so this is my new favorite wig. Oh my goodness. If uh, haven't seen the reel yet, this is Charlotte. And this is in silky beige which honestly i love the color i probably wouldn't if i love so many blondes but i'm so glad i got this color because i love it i've i have the platinum shadow which i'll show you in a minute but uh new favorite <laughs> it looks so good on you and i can tell i think you can really tell when somebody puts on a wig and it they they're just their face lights up they feel really good in it um it's comfortable and i feel the same way i'm wearing charlotte as well and i have been wearing charlotte in sparkling champagne and now this here beautiful cinnamon toffee for the past month and it's so easy to wear for like everyday wear but you could you can dress it up wear it with a dress but like as an everyday throw on wig it's comfortable it doesn't um frizz the curls are just really effortless and um very natural looking so i love this style and it looks amazing on you christy oh thank you you girls both look beautiful thank you so much <laughs> andrea let us know what you're wearing and the color and let me know your thoughts you look super cute thank you so much so this is marcia um by envy in the color of platinum shadow and she's super, super cute. Um, I love that in the in the pictures on the model, you can see that she has bangs. And right away when I saw all of the styles, I was like, oh my word, that is so, so cute. Um, I can't, sometimes I don't, I, can, I have a shorter forehead, so I can't always wear bangs and I haven't had a chance to get this trimmed a little bit, but I love the fact that you can, you know, wear her with a fringe um, or you can just sweep them to the side and have like still just a really cute kind of shorter, perfect for summer length, um, wavy style with some product and stuff in here, like the Get Dressed, which I haven't had a chance to try just yet, but I'm super excited for it to arrive. Um, I think you can like kind of, you know, uh, give her a lot of texture and kind of more body if you want, or you can kind of wear her down a little bit more subdued and just a little more sleek, super cute style, very comfortable cap. It looks so cute on you. And I do love that bang, how you have it more side swept and it, but it frames the face. Um, like you mentioned in the model photos, they have a few where it's um, to the side, kind of how you have it. And then they have a few where it's more front facing fringe and that fringe is nice and wispy and light, like you mentioned. So super cute. I love that color as well. Do you usually gravitate to blondes, Andrea, or do you try the whole, the whole rainbow? What do you, what do you like to grab? Honestly, to? I, I try it all. I think I really like the rooted blondes because I have brun I've always been a brunette. Um, I don't have a lot of my bio hair left anymore. So um, I, I can wear brunettes, but I, actually, as I get older too, I realize that I like a little bit of the lighter colors. Always with a root for me though, because I am naturally brunette. So, um, but yeah, the shaded blondes for me for sure are are super fun, especially gravitate toward more of the ashy tones, which this one definitely is. Um, and then I can also do the brunettes and the reds, and I love trying all sorts of different colors. But yeah, I've been having fun with blondes for sure lately. <laughs> I've seen you in all the colors, and I think with your skin tone, you can get away with, with reds or, you know, browns, brunettes, but you look gorgeous in the blondes. And I'm like you as well. I like, I'll, I'll wear, um, colors without the root, but I love a good rooted blonde or a rooted brown. It's for me, I, I feel like um, it. say you have a basic cap wig, it can really help 
hide that um, permatease and a yeah. lot of people go in there to get like a smudge root or a shadow root. So it's, it's very on trend as well. So, um, and he has some amazing rooted colors. So you'll guys, you guys will all have to check that out. Um, the viewers, um, and I am all, I'm wearing the cinnamon toffee. I used to always gravitate towards cinnamon raisin, but um, as far as the more auburn colors, but it is just the most luscious, um, like warm brown color. It's so beautiful. Has that, that, that warm, oh, I don't know. Can you guys see in this lighting? I know all mm -hmm. lighting situations are, are different. And so you guys do be mindful of that when you're looking at the colors and the wigs, because not only are they different on various face shapes, um, but in different lighting situations. And I love that your gals, Andrea, they do a lot of outdoor um, videos yeah. and stuff to show indoor and outdoor. So it gives those searching for different colors, um, you know, what it looks like in these different situations. Yeah, anyway, and thank I'm you. Rambling. I know the reviewers do an amazing job. Um, it's a lot for them to, to their, but their goal and their passion is always to just educate and explain and show and inspire. Um, and going outside, you know, in the sunlight when it permits um, has been, I think, really helpful for a lot of our customers so they can see it in indoor lighting and outdoor lighting. And sometimes it makes a very big difference. I had a gal post in our in our Facebook group recently about um, so showing her. Um, they're so helpful in there. They're so so helpful showing her wig sisters um, the same style in indoor lighting and outdoor lighting, and it was such a big difference. So always good to see as as much as you can and to make that best judgment call, you know, before purchase because you always get so excited. And it's no fun to have to send it back and try to find another color so well i love you guys put out the reviews and the photos and you have the group where people can bounce off of each other and and view it and get everybody's opinion as well because um i mean every style looks so different on everyone and isn't it crazy that just the lighting can can be like wait that looks different just the, the style alone i can see how the color you know, mm -hmm. can change with lighting, but um, different situations. And that goes for like clothing as well. Um, yeah. I tried on Carrie, which is one of the wigs in um, Sterling Shadow. And um, I had I had this beauty on with a color that didn't, it didn't comp, it, it just didn't complement each other, the color of shirt I had on. Yeah. And then I went and put on some black and red and the the, the two colors just, really it made the color pop you could see the dimension and um i think that a lot of people they might get a style they might get a color they try it on um when they're wearing uh, something that may not complement it and they just they throw it off you know they they, they don't want to wear it and <laughs> then if if you give it time you play with it you throw on you know a different eyeshadow color or lipstick yeah. and all of a sudden you realize wow wow, this is my new favorite color. <laughs> yeah, no, that's so. so true. I remember doing a live once where I had on this beautiful, but it was really colorful, like striped sweater. And I put on a, a, um, a red wig and it was, of course it was live. So there's nothing I could do, but, um, it did not work with what I was wearing at all. However, if I were to change and go put on something neutral, like all black or white or tan or something that toned down all those colors and stuff, it looked really beautiful on. So it really does make a difference when you have, you know, what you're wearing um, whenever, as even right now, um, I try to stay pretty neutral just because um, it really helps people see different styles and different colors and how you really can wear you know, as many styles or colors as you'd like. Sometimes it just takes a little getting used to and starting with neutral like clothing and makeup um, is the best way to decide if it's going to work well for you. And then you can add stuff in. I love your advice. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are like just full of knowledge and expertise. And Andrea, you've been wearing wigs for a very long time. Now you have, you know, your, your business that has been um, just incredible. And so it's your, it's all of your advice is coming from an end wearer and 
that you know the that's the store the the ones that people are coming to so i love that you um you have that to offer people um because you have firsthand experience um along with you christy as well you know so that's so helpful i love that um you're just helping the community and those who need this information because there's conflicting information out there and just sharing your your story and your experience is so, so helpful. Anyway, yeah, I'm always, getting off on a tangent over here. <laughs> I, do wanna, I do wanna say something about the color. You know, I always have people say, I don't, what, will this color look good on me? And to be honest, I tell everybody, try it, try it. Mm -hmm. you never know what you're going to like if you don't try it. And my opinion of you might differ from what you feel confident in, right? And what I feel confident in might differ what someone tells me. And if we always live in a constant approval of somebody else's, then you will never know. You're only holding yourself back for what someone might tell you. And I know people like they say, oh, my hairstylist always said I should wear short hair. They finally try like a mid-length wig or a long wig and they end up loving it. And all they did was set themselves back so many years because they didn't try it. So I'm mm -hmm. a firm believer and I tell our clients all the time, try it. We have a great return policy at Wig Studio One, return it, get, you know, and then use it to get something else that you want. And I, I've kind of always been like that since the minute I came out with my wig journey. I mean, I remember messaging with Andrea when I was first ordering and it was a long time ago, so it's a little different now, but you know, Andrea was like, try it. You never know. You never know if you're going to love it. And there were so many styles over the last six years that I ended up loving um, a lot more than I thought I would or colors a lot more than I thought I would. So that's just my tidbit of advice is try it. You never know. It's, it's really easy. It's not like you're dying your bio hair and now you're stuck with it. And, you know, um, so always just try it. That's just I advice. love that. And you, and like you mentioned, you might realize there's something that you never would have gravitated to and you go put it on and you're like shocked. You're like, oh my gosh, I love this. And it opens up so many opportunities for you and just makes your whole journey um, fun, um, convenient. You have those choices. It's incredible. Andrea, you were going to say something. Oh, you no, know, what I was going to say <laughs> is thank you so much for your kind words. Um, the wig journey is, it can be a challenging one. I think the best advice I can give to anyone is just to take a breath. You know, um, oftentimes, you know, this isn't a choice um, that people are, are coming into um, and they have other things that they're juggling on the side. So this is just added stress. And um, so it's hard to have fun with it. But um I, it's, if, if you can just take a beat, you know, and just try to, to get excited about, you know, what's coming in the mail and, and all the new opportunities that are going to be opened up, you know, in the wig wearing community and just in general, um, number one being the ability to help other people. I can't tell you how many people I have worked with who have purchased a wig and then gone on to purchase a few more, maybe had a friend or a stranger, you know, in the grocery store, stop them and say, I love your hair color. And then they start this, you know, their story. Well, I actually have, you know, hair loss. So this is a wig. And, and then that person is what, you know, just surprised and floored. And then they, they, you know, they have hair loss. So they start to share their story and it just becomes, I think connecting with the community and, and helping each other um, becomes a real part of a positive side to some of the other difficult and challenging things about hair loss. So what I wanted to say, and I could go on and on, I just love our reviewers and, and everyone in the community. Um, but I wanted to say that, you know, I've, I have learned a lot. It is a journey. Um, but I've also learned a lot from people that I'm surrounded by, you know, mainly like our customers and people who are trying to contribute and our reviewers, um, you know, about what wig, wig grip they like to wear or what cap, you know, wig cap they wear under their hair or if they wear one at all and 
what their favorite products are to, you know, cleanse their alternative hair with and how they style it and maybe something that I hadn't thought of, you know, like using a steamer or and to actually style something that I didn't think could be styled. You know, there's there's so much information and you're right. Sometimes it is not the correct information. So we always want to be careful to guide everyone most appropriately. But um, I, I guess my point is, is I've just being here has helped me, you know, get more comfortable with my own hair loss. And a lot of it is because of the people that, you know, we're surrounded with. Um, it's just such an inspiring group of people and a great community. So I completely agree. I, I feel like um, in so many ways, what started as a hardship and something that can affect your self-esteem ends up being not only um, you know, healing to yourself and while helping others, you, you help them, but it's, it, you're, you're like, you feel good from the inside out because of that community. Like you meant, I'm just repeating everything you're saying, Andrea, because I completely agree, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you guys will have to bear with me because sometimes I get off on all these different subjects. I guess we, we should start talking about the more details about these four styles and, um, and there's some fun at the end. So you guys stay tuned. There's going to be some great giveaways. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> after we after we discuss um, these four styles. And be sure to comment any questions, um, feedback. We'd love to hear it. And um, Christy and Andrea both pipe up. I can get chatty Kathy as well. So if I'm going and going and you want to say something, just butt in and do it. <laughs> We're going to be a real person, anyway. Amber, because I'm the same way. I'm like, so please feel free to like, hey, okay, time's up, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, um, no. Um, okay, you guys, so let's start with Charlotte since Christy and myself are wearing Charlotte. I love, love, love this style. Um, and, you know, Charlotte actually has a, a middle part. I love this this beautiful lace front so you have this welded monofilament lace front and i'm actually going to grab this charlotte back here i was going to say this i love the lace front on this i was floored with just it looks so natural and it's like growing out of my scalp um and i filmed it with like kind of window lighting indirect window lighting which i is always my favorite when we we're talking about lighting i wanted to interject that but such a great yeah. lace front. Yes, the lace front is beautiful, and you don't mind the underside of this cap. I have been wearing Charlotte in sparkling champagne nonstop, so you'll see a little bit of, you know, makeup and things like that. <laughs> she needs a wash. Um, this is a beautiful color, by the way, another gorgeous rooted blonde. Um, uh, so these are your traditional synthetic fibers, yeah. and you have, um, like I mentioned, this lace front that's extended and then this middle mono part this is open wefted you have your velvet ear tabs with a bendable wire the velvet nape with the velcro adjusters at the nape and then um one thing that i did point out in a video on instagram was that although this is a middle part you can pull it away from the face you can kind of switch the part slightly um, you know, and so don't ever feel limited. I'm kind of crouching down so you guys can see that. Um, don't feel limited when you have like a left part or a middle part. You can utilize that gorgeous lace front and, you know, create a style and do lots of different things. Kind of twist it back. Still maintain that middle part that you have going on right here. But, you know, be creative. Yeah. And I what I love it. Oh, you go, Christy. <laughs> Yeah, I was Here I am like this again. I always tell people it's about like this pretty wide, you know, middle part. And so even for me, I always like to play around because sometimes I lean a little bit to the right, but I love a center part. What I love about this, Amber, is I was telling one of our clients today, she was looking for a mid-length wavy, but she wanted a bang. And sometimes it's really hard to get styles to train for bangs. Some are easier than others for clients. What I love about Charlotte is you can easily cut in a bang on this piece. So for any of you ladies that you're like, oh, I love Charlotte, she doesn't have a bang, 
and I don't want to go as short as Marsha, which we'll get to later, you could easily cut a bang into Charlotte if you needed to. Very, very easy. I think the fibers would lay really well. I don't even think you would need much work for training. Um, and that's just kind of what I found with my, my Charlotte and showing my client this morning. Um, I did play around with the get dressed. Are we talking about that yet? Or can I? Yeah. Interject? <laughs> yes. Interject. Tell me what you think about the get dressed. Oh. This is our new product. Chrissy, you go for it. You take the floor. Yeah. I love this stuff. So I'm a huge, like I love texture spray, but I don't like it when it cakes my fibers. And I don't like it when it just feels like that's all that's on the wig, right? And then it's like, oh, great, I'm going to have to wash it now. This doesn't leave that at all. Um, I, it's like, it, one, it helps with the shine, which Charlotte doesn't have much shine. I was actually really impressed with this, this wig. There's not a shine. It really didn't need it for that. So what I played with the Get Dress, um, and I kind of filmed a little bit, which I'll share later, but... I, I love it for the texture and getting a little bit of volume. There is a little permatease, but in areas that are needed. And that's the thing I always tell clients too with Wig Studio One is you need a little bit of permatease on these wavy, curly styles, or it's going to feel like your piece is totally see throughable in the wind. Mm -hmm. And it's that lift for the texture. Um, so you have to have at least a little bit of permatease. So this is what I did is you want to just shake it. And then about six to eight inches away, it doesn't say that, but that's usually what I do. And I just kind of spray it. Now I have it a little bit on the right right now. And also I kind of like went like this. If I wanted to get it, I know some of you ladies, you'd like it up and away and out of your face. So we're gonna go like that. And I kind of used it for even my curls. So you can get volume in this piece just with this Get Dressed spray. The Get Dressed is not just a shine reducer or like a dry shampoos type spray, but it's also going to be for volume and texture. And I mean, you can even kind of twist those little pieces out better. It's hard for me to see myself because I have a comment. <laughs> but, um, yes, I know. Like, I love, love, love this spray. And what I first did with it when I wanted to part it is I kind of brought the fiber so forward with the comb and then I parted it where I wanted it to. And then I trained it first with my spray bottle. This is our Wix Studio One spray bottle. And then I just then got the hair where I wanted to. And then I used the Get Dressed for any shine reducing or texture, but you can't even tell I have product on this. I'm telling you. It's so light. It's so light and it smells really good. good. Yeah, there's. it feels like nothing's on it. I love this style. This is like ready for date night, ready for a day at the beach, ready for a day at the boardwalk, right? I mean, this is everything. It's so, I love it. It's so great. Sorry, I'm rambling too. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Christy, we have a, a few questions about the colors. Um, mm -hmm. t uh, tell us the color that you're wearing again. And then um, for those asking, I am with it. This blonde is called Sparkling Champagne. Yeah, it's, a so it's a chestnut brown root, and then you have golden blonde, ash blonde, and sh champagne blonde tones with this this one. Um, I have a lot of lights, and I do have a little bit of um, light coming in from a window, but not, not a ton. Um, so just be mindful of that. But Christy, your beautiful, it, your beautiful color is silky beige, right? Beige. I do not have that color in front of me, and I'm sorry as far as it's Oh, it's fine. Silky beige is, it, beige is a light platinum blonde with dark brown roots, and um, this is the most neutral of uh, Envy's light blondes. I would say so, that. I really felt it was a very neutral color because I have, let me show you, the, you know, I have for those that have not seen, which I'll show it to you in a minute, but this is the uh platinum shadow mm -hmm. and definitely this is like that cool platinum color where this is very a neutral you have a little bit of warmth creaminess like a creamy but you have that cool and so it makes it an overall general like neutral color i love mm -hmm. it though. so the platinum shadow is the coolest blonde out of the rooted blondes 
but it does have that, you know, it's very, very light, like you mentioned, with dark roots. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. Both colors are very, very pretty. Actually, all three I love. Like, I wear this one yeah. all the time. I like to have a little bit of warmth sometimes. And I used to always wear browns, and then I gravitated towards the blondes. So I'll do them all, but I... I have found that I really like to have a little, a little bit of warmth. So depending on what you guys like, there's um, silky beige. It's more of that neutral blonde. And then platinum shadow is very, very platinum and light. And there's a good, I was looking at stock today of Charlotte. And I was, it, she has good stock right now. So ladies that are wanting to order her, I, um, don't worry, there's there's stock. You guys have stocked these really well. So um I love the cinnamon toffee color on you though. I that's one of my favorite brands oh, as well. I'm like <laughs> acting like, yeah, I switched it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I love both of these. Um and Envy has some beautiful reds for those who are, you know, wanting to check out some red colors, um, auburns, so so pretty. In fact, we'll show you a, a beautiful red in the Miranda in just a few. Um, anyway, let's see. I, I see a comment. You would never know you are wearing a wig. I, you know, I think that's true. This, this wig is so natural. Charlotte, the density, it's a light medium density. Um, it's not stringy, but it's, it's not overly thick. Uh, um, it's a perfect length because you can play with it, but it's, you know, right around the shoulders. It's fabulous for, you know, spring and summer. Um, you don't get a lot of friction frizz because of the length. So that's a positive as well. And it's just, uh, the whole style is so natural. Um, it has some slight layering, but in comparison to um, the Marsha that we will be showing you, the, the layers are more blunt in comparison. And we'll, we'll look at that. We'll look at the comparison. All right. Do you have anything else you want to add um, about Charlotte, Christy? You know, I just think it's fantastic. Um, you know, there's some sister styles that it's compared to with other brands. So if you're thinking it, yes. I mean, it's just incredible because this look, I like how you you posted a picture, Amber, where with your daughter and it was, it looked more kind of like down. So I want to speak to those that are like, Hey, Christy, you just fluff that a lot. And I don't like it like that. Literally Charlotte can look really sleek and look very low density. It is low density. So when you see me kind of like playing with it, it can get that look, but it can also lay so sleek and so, um, lightweight. So I just mm -hmm. want to, that and more I smooth love it. and then get with it yes and especially using the get dressed add that yeah. texture define those those curls yeah. um um and like you mentioned there's not a lot of uh, it's not overly shiny straight out of the box i've only worn this beautiful charlotte a few for a few days and it i haven't really added much to this this here charlotte and the fibers are beautiful. I was mentioning the other day that having a little bit of healthy shine is is okay in my opinion. You know, mm -hmm. um, everybody wants their biological hair to have healthy shine, but I understand using um, a product like Get Dressed to help um, dim the shine on an overly shiny wig that can really help as well. Anyway, so let's. Someone was asking about the size of these of Charlotte, and so I wanted to address that because. I didn't make any adjustments to mine, okay? I didn't bring it in, I didn't bring it out. And I never do when I first put on a wig unless like I know I need to make adjustments. So I, my circumference is a 21.75 inch, 22 inch head, um, and this fits me perfect as is. However, there is adjustments to bring it in. It's a Velcro adjuster, and I'll take it off. <laughs> so as you can see, there is, plenty of room to take it out more and also to bring it in um so it doesn't feel too tight it feels just right but i do believe that this it's an average size cap but i do believe that it has some stretching ability to go up past a 22 and a half if needed oh that's good to know so i wear average in you know every average wig fits me really well i'm 21.5 um, and the, uh, Charlotte just fits me like a glove from ear to ear, from front to nape. But um, Christy, so you, what, what did you say your measurements are? 
I'm about a 21.75 to a 22. Okay. You know, your head swells. I always tell clients that <laughs> your head, by the end of the day sometimes, it's about a quarter of an inch bigger from the morning. Um, and, and if you have ha biological hair too, that's something yeah. to be mindful of when you wrap it up in your wig liner. Um, you might need some space to extend yeah. extend that, but it's good to hear that it's it feels good on um, you as well. Yeah. But these are all average. Yeah. For those asking. Yeah. All right. Well, should we bring Andrea back and talk about her beautiful Marsha that she is wearing? Yes. Okay. So Marsha, 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 where are Yay, you? Yay, thank okay. you. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> bringing me back. <laughs> thank you, Christy. <laughs> Here is the Marsha. This is my Marsha. I'm going to put that on. Okay. And this is the color Golden Sandstone. Okay, let me do a costume change real quick. So while you're doing that, Amber, I was just going to chime in and say, I have the same the same size head sizes as, as Christy in terms of like, you know, 21.75 to 22. And I haven't adjusted this at all. I put it on and I didn't need to do any um, adjustments at the nape. So now that may not be true for everyone because we all have, you know, different ear to ear and front to nape sizes. So keep that in mind if, um, if you need to make those adjustments, even if you have the same size circumference as I do, Please do. Um, totally okay. That's why they're there. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that I did. I did put this on. It's very comfortable. Um, I haven't had uh, to really move much around. I've been playing with ear tucks because that's what I always do. It's a bit of a habit for me. Um, me too. But otherwise, <laughs> it's very comfortable. Good to know. Well, I want to show you guys the underside of the okay. new Gia Mono. Gia Mono launched in February, but Gia Mono and um, the Marsha wig features the So Soft cap design. Mm -hmm. So here is um, the Gia. So I'm sure you guys saw the Gia a few months ago, um, uh, but this is what the cap looks like. You have your ear to ear lace front. You have this extended welded monofilament lace front. And you have a monofilament back area right here. This is great for pulling away from the face, multi-directional parting. But what they have right here is a double layer. Can you guys see that? Well, sorry. Yeah, I can you see have it. This, this double layer of so soft lace, and it's mm -hmm. added to increase comfort and softness. Um, sometimes with a double mono, they seem thicker. They, people can get hot. And the nice thing with this very, very soft material is it's light, it's airy, um, it doesn't compromise the fit or the style, but it gives you that nice soft barrier um, against the scalp. It's really, you know, soft. And what it also does is it extends past that um, transition. So you have this ribbon right here that sometimes people might be like, oh, I can see that. It's a little bit shiny. And this so soft material helps further hide the transition between your mono top and your lace front. One thing I wanted to add too is the lace front is really comfortable for me. So I have really um, sensitive skin, very thin skin, especially around like my forehead. So sometimes if I'm wearing a wig throughout the course of the day, when I take it off, just because of like a little bit of movement, you know, um, I'll have like a little, you know, rash or cut or something there. So you can tell that it's been agitated. Um, I'm not getting that with this at all. Um, it feels really soft on my on my forehead. So um, you guys did a great job putting this, putting this together because I can't say that about all lace fronts. Um, sometimes they feel, and I know the, the desire is to create durability so that they last a long time because the lace is very delicate, but, um, this is very comfortable as well. So it meets both goals, I think. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Andrea. We appreciate it. And I love hearing that because, um, you know, I, I also, I don't get too irritated, but you do have that, you know, rougher monofilament feeling. And the, you only have a small area, as you can see, where you don't have 
that soft, so soft lace um, covering that. So it just further makes it more comfortable and soft and can minimize that lace front itch. I'll also, since we're talking about the lace front, I'll show you what my Marsha looks like. She's got a really nice Thank lace you. front. I'll do a turn around while you do that. So you guys can see my Marsha from all angles. He's very cute, more of a shorter style than the Charlotte. Those are the key differences is that has a different cap construction, obviously. But then um, although they both have those very loose, fun waves, um, Marsha has more of the, those flipped out feathery ends and a lot more layering than the Charlotte. Charlotte uh, looks a lot more blunt with her with her waves. And then you have that front fringe, kind of that wispy fringe. So, Andrea, mm -hmm. you were talking about how you feel like you have to kind of trim up the bang. That's easily accomplished with this wispy bang. You could brush it to the side, either side, because you do have that gorgeous lace front and the monofilament top. Um, or you could wear it more front facing if that's what you like to do. Um, I think one of the, the model photos have it more of a blunt, not very blunt. It's, it's still feathery, but more up front on the forehead. So either way, there's a lot of fun ways to wear this beautiful wig. Any questions or, um, Andrew, do you have any other feedback on the Marsha? What about, you You mentioned the color when we first got on, how you like the blonde. Um, mm -hmm. This is, I love this this blonde. It's a, it's a darker color. People might consider it more of a bronze. Um, this one's and, really fun. Are you wearing, is it sandstone rooted? Yes, golden sandstone. Golden, okay. Yeah, that's beautiful on you, Amber. And yeah, I love this color. This is platinum shadow. Um, I don't have the the description of the color, but it's very pretty. Um, it's it's definitely a blonde, um, and you know, not like, and it's more ash in tone. But it does have. Um, let me see if I can get some. Show you ladies up front a little bit of definition. It's just a really beautiful color with um, very with very light. definition. Yeah, very lightest. It's the lightest of the rooted blondes. And it has um, the dark roots. Um, Christy was wearing the platinum shadow in, I believe, um, I think she was showing the, was it the marsh or was it? Um, okay, okay. We were just talking about platinum shadow. And this here beautiful color is golden sandstone. This is a creamy beigey blonde with darker brown roots. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she was wearing the beige, silky beige. So in Charlotte, in I'm sorry. I was Charlotte, and then she pulled out um, the Miranda in in the color you're wearing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the only other thing I can say about um, Marsha in terms of you know comfort and stuff, I really do like the cap. It fits me very well. Like I said, I haven't had to really, I haven't moved it or touched it at all. Um, it feels really comfortable. I love the length because it is summertime. Um, and as the weather gets warmer, it's always nice to have a really great throw on and go that's, you know, going to be light um, and area. I feel like the density on this style is light, very comfortable. Um, the only other thing I'd add is that uh, I have it, I'm, I'm more of a, because I have a little bit fuller face I always like to kind of wear things a little bit more subdued like with not a lot of body and stuff but I do feel like um if I had the, some product or I could use my water bottle and spray this and really get a lot of volume um mm -hmm. so everyone has a different kind of mood you know and version of of themselves and so you can increased volume on this style if you'd like it's got a lot of kind of choppy cute layers it's very very on trend but it can also be pretty like low key and kind of subdued too if that's your your character or your mood so mm -hmm. yeah you have it more smooth mine has product in it i have some get dressed in there because of the layering there's quite a bit of layering kind of stacked a little bit um you can add the va va boom with the Marsha wig, um, it does, I wouldn't say this is a shag, I would say this is like a, a medium, 
um, medium bob style that has layers and you know loose waves uh, with a front fringe. Can you did you guys get a good view of the the back? Not even sure what that looks like. <laughs> no, we do. It's a guessing game <laughs> when you're going live. <laughs> anyway, um, Charlotte has that, you know, that extended lace front and the monofilament top. So you have the open wefting and the adjusters at the nape. Um, you have that um, just fantastic cap construction. There's not permatease, but because of the layering, you can really give it a lot of body. You know, Amber, I did print out the specs on these in case you wanted me to run through those real quick. I'm happy to. Sure. So um, just to confirm, she is a synthetic fiber. So not heat friendly synthetic, just a traditional synthetic. Um, her, it's, she's about four inches in the front. And then from the crown down, she's 7.25 inches. The side is eight and a half, and then the nape is six and a half. And Andrea, since you have the specs, um, if you you feel like it would be helpful if we quickly run over um, the measurements on Charlotte, since we didn't get those. I know I could I can talk forever. The lives can probably go on and on and on and on. <laughs> of course, <laughs> but no. you, feel, you know, um, I have the the specs for Charlotte real quick. If if we wanted to run that past, um, the difference between Charlotte and Marsha, although they're both bobs, they're both wavy, um, is is the length. You have the crown at thirteen inches with Charlotte. The side is ten inches. And the nape is 4.5 inches. Um, it, what the big difference is to, like I mentioned before, I'm repeating myself, is the layering and the bang. So two really cute Bob wavy styles. Yes, All right. Super cute. Okay, well, I think we'll bring out Miranda. I'll try, I'll okay. okay, that sounds Should great. I, I'm trying to decide if I want to put on Miranda in lighter red. Maybe I'll try lighter red. Look how bright this is. It's so beautiful. I love this red. We'll do we'll do this one. Yes, I put on my Christy. Miranda. Put on my Miranda for y'all. This is um in the color platinum shadow. So one, I want to bring a couple attention to a couple different things. I'm wearing my glasses, which I typically don't do. And like, you know, a lot of like my filming, uh, so occasionally I'll do like a real bit. Um, I'm having eye issues. So if you see my light ring, it's cause I'm wearing glasses and it doesn't like glasses, but I'm glad I'm wearing them because I want to show you the length on the bangs. So if you've seen any of my reviews where I talk about wigs, I typically have to like push my wigs sometimes way back there. The bangs, sometimes manufacturers will kind of overcompensate on the bang length so you can make it your own. But honestly, Envy did so perfect with the cut on this bang length, you don't need to do that. Like it's just ready to go, it, but it's good for short foreheads and long foreheads. It's hard for me to explain, but I just really love the length on the bangs. I have a longer forehead and it works well for me too, yeah. whether I want to do side swept or yeah. put it right in front like yours. Yep. Now with this affordable cap, it's really an, like, it's, it's a basic cap construction, but it's a really affordable price. Um, however, it doesn't mean that it's not made well. Like I, the bottom, there's like no permatease. It's very lightweight, low density. I mean, just, you could even put it in a little ponytail if you wanted to. Um, Charlotte has light, medium density. Yeah. Um, so it feels, although it has the basic cap, the permatease, and it needs the permatease, you know, to hide the base construction, to offer that, um, the silhouette of the style, add that volume with, mm -hmm. with the layering and, um, you know, uh, just give you the opportunity to either smooth it down or really rock it out <laughs> with this red. fun yeah. modern shag. This is the I shag. Love. Somebody asked if, um, Marsha was a shag and this is our shag yep it's that wolf cut too yep so yep the, like, there was a lot of talk about the wolf cut shag 
um, it's right up your alley. Like shacks are so popular and in on the trends right now. So just the, the cut of it, um, the, the light medium density, it's just so, it's done so well. And you can wear it smooth or you can wear it a little bit fuller if you want a little bit more body in the top. You can easily do that by getting your hands in and just kind of rubbing and awaken any of the minimal permatease on it um, to help get it to the look you're wanting to achieve. I see a comment. Very cute. Shags are very popular. Yes, you know, people are going for the, the modern mullet, the, the modern shags and um that wolf cut people are cutting chopping their own hair the brave people and for the people who want to try something different and they're nervous or they they think oh my gosh that would be so fun to wear with my leather jacket or you know go out there on the town it's easy to throw on a fun style and change it up um it's just super super fun and then I use the get dress for the shine on this one. This is the platinum shadow color. So you might, some of you might feel it has a little shine for you, but like the reds, like that color, you know, I don't see no shine on that. So sometimes it's just the reflection of the light too, but um, you can use get dress. I'm telling you, you're going to want to get this product <laughs> because it it's is so great. Really amazing. Sometimes those really light blondes will show more of a shine, like you said. Mm -hmm. And it really helps tone it down. Um, Christy, you have your ring light and all those lights, you know, shining right yeah. on the color. And it is a new style. But, um, I mean, this get, get dressed works wonders with the Miranda because you can really get that. I mean, it already has so much texture and lift. But you want to add more, use the get dressed. But the nice thing with having... Uh, a basic cap open you know open wefted wig is not only the price point but you you know people um they're they're always complaining about oh my hair goes you know limp it goes i have to tease it i have to do this i have to use product when you have some nice permatease in there you are going to have that volume and that shape all day long it's not yep. going to fall out it's not going to look stringy yep. And it's very necessary. Um, I love that, uh, Christy, you were very transparent because, you know, some people are a little nervous of permatease, but then you have others who are like, I have to have permatease in my wigs. I'm a permatease gal. I like that lift. I like that volume. And the nice thing is the Miranda wig is done so well. I mean, this is up close. It's, and it's look how great this that style. looks. You have to have Oh, you definitely need style. it. You definitely I mean, look how cute that shape is, and you you can utilize that that perm lift to your advantage. Yep, it's not like over it's not overly done. So yes, there is permatease, but it's what the style needs. Because if you have this cut with no permatease, and like let's say you went outside in the rain, or even if you have bio hair that was cut like this, if it went flat, it wouldn't. You got to have that shape, like you were saying. Yes, yes. It's Style. So that's why a lot of times I'm not afraid of permatease because I know it's there to shape it and to get the look you're you're needing to get for that style. But it was produced. And for. it actually looks, I mean, if the permatease is done well, it actually looks more realistic because if like you said, if you don't have it, you're gonna be mm -hmm. seeing wefts, you're gonna see that base yep. construction. So it's very, very necessary and helpful. And it's yeah. it's done so well on the Miranda big. I'll show you the underside of this one. And this color that I'm holding is Champagne Shadow. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you know, in the very root, roots of the bang, you see a little bit of um, teasing right there. And then you have your open wefts. It's comfortable. And you are going to have that beautiful shape and volume all day long. Amber, what color is that that you're holding there? This one is Champagne Shadow. Champagne Shadow. It's beautiful. Yeah, this color is so pretty. So I was wearing sparkling champagne in my char in the Charlotte. It was a sparkling champagne. But this one is Champagne Shadow. So this is the warmest of Envy's light beigey blondes. Um, it's a it has a it's a soft dark blonde with platinum highlights and a chestnut mm -hmm. root. Love that. And then this is the Platinum Shadow, which is the coolest of the rooted blondes with Envy. 
And that's the color that um, uh, Andrea. Andrea was wearing in her Marsha. Yes, I love I love both the colors I have. They're just, I love them. The rooted blonde, the rooted uh, colors are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to get this on my gal very well. <laughs> okay, so does anybody? Um, you, you nor Andrea has a uh, uh, carry. Is that right? No, but we do have a review on that, I believe, by uh, Tad. <laughs> I'm not looking okay. at my list, so I said that hesitantly. But I think one of either Taz or Eileen has a review on that. I think it might be Taz. No, it might be Eileen. I'm sorry. I should know that. I think Eileen <laughs> has has a, a carry. Yes, yeah. I saw Eileen and her carry. I think. Well, here is Andrew, a carry. Yeah. I'll switch into this. Okay. And Andrew will probably join us here. Actually, before I put carry on, I'm going to show you guys the underside. So Carrie, the beautiful Carrie is the shortest style out of the four. And this is your asymmetrical pixie bob. Very short, tight at the nape. I'll show you more when I get it on. But what Carrie features is also the so soft cap construction. But you have a left monofilament part. And don't mind my makeup. I like to, you know, play and um, just experiment with my, my wigs. But um, you have that same so soft material, that double layer to add comfort and softness. You have your extended welded monofilament lace front that extends into that left mono part. And this color is the beautiful Sterling Shadow. And Sterling Shadow, let me, I wanna make sure I get this all correct. Um, Sterling Shadow is a rooted color. This is a chic, medium salt and pepper uh, color. This is a salt and pepper gray with a darker brown root. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put this on and do a turnaround. And I'll quickly tell you guys the specs. Eileen has, the, Eileen has Carrie. Okay, so you guys stay tuned or um, go and check out Eileen's review on the Carrie wig. Yep. That looks so cute on you. Love that Thank color. You. This is such a beautiful gray. If if you have the gray gals out there, people who love to gravitate towards a gray, even if you don't, you know, I typically don't reach for the grays, but this is such a beautiful salt and pepper gray color with a root. That is so pretty. So the front is seven inches. Your crown is also seven inches. The sides are 6.5 and the nape is 2.5 inches. I'm not sure if I have all my hair tucked up inside there. You have to let me know if it looks okay. Looks good. It's nice and tight at the nape. And then you have, you know, longer face framing um, hair, the bang, the fringe right up at the front. I have a longer face. I would say, you know, the front reaches my jaw. And the nice thing with this style is you can have so much fun with it. I have it more sleek, but you can add volume, make it look really voluminous, show that texture, those layers, that stacked look, if you guys can see that, I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know, Christy. Yep, yep we can I'm... see that stacked look. It, it's so adorable. Perfect for kind of like all weather, you know, when ladies kind of want to get something off their neck, but yet have a little bit of Oh yes, the front. so, so good for summer. So good if you guys get hot having it off the neck, you're not going to deal with friction frizz. I love that about these four styles is they're more, you know, your bobs, bobs. You do have, um, uh, you do have Miranda that has a little bit of length. Um, Christy showed you how you can put in a pony, you could put it up in an updo, but, um, then it's nice to have, um, those lengths because you're not going to be dealing with, you know, the heat, the friction frizz, the mate, as much maintenance. And that, I love that because you can still have so much fun. It's still so versatile 
adds some accessories, pull it away from the face. Um, this does have the left mono part, but definitely have fun creative styling because of that front yeah. lace. It's cute, all voluminous or nice and sleek, tucked behind the ear is really cute, sleek looking. Just a very chic, versatile, short pixie bob. I love Eileen in these styles. She she really looks amazing in these um, short pixie bob styles. Yes. You could piece it out, add product. I really, really love the NB Beauty Balm. Um, if you wanted to make it look more edgy, these types of pixie styles are really fun. Um, just, you know, really piecing out and adding texture. So lots of fun ways to wear this style. Where's Andrea? <laughs> Andrea? I think we'll bring her back in because we, we have some giveaways, I think. Amber, I have to say just a couple of things. First off, there is not a style or color that you cannot look totally amazing in. That looks so cute on you. I love it. Thank you. Thank um, you so much. I just uh, also regarding the videos, I was going to say that, yes, uh, Eileen Crazy Wig Lady um, did a review on Carrie by Envy, and Taz has done a review on Marsha, the style that I have on. And then Christy, I believe, will be releasing a review soon on um, Miranda. So, yeah, so we're, we're getting them all covered. Um, and I've oh, seen her. I've seen her reels on the Charlotte that she received. A few yes, days ago. Eileen she also has a review on Charlotte, I believe. So yeah, oh, so you'll be able to, to see those um, those full reviews. You know, in probably I haven't watched them all yet, but probably in indoor and outdoor lighting. These ladies really put a lot of effort and energy into those reviews. So um, I have no doubt that they'll be really just full of loads of information and critiques and opinions and just really beautiful um, showcase of every style. So um, I think we have some giveaways, Amber. Should we yes, talk about you those? To announce? Yes, yes. I'll give you the floor, Andrea. You, you tell, you tell them. <laughs> well, first off, we really appreciate all of you joining us uh, today. We've had a tremendous turnout. So thank you so much for taking time out of your Monday afternoon to hang out with the three of us. Um, and thank you, Amber, for these styles. Um, uh, Envy had sent me Marsha in the, is it the Platinum, platinum. Shadow? I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe oh, it is right. Platinum Shadow. Um, and, uh, you know, sponsored those for, for Christy as well. So we really appreciate you ladies over there giving us um, some products so that we could showcase it and give you our opinions and feedback. So thank you so much. And thank you to all of you for watching. So a couple of things. Um, we are going to do some giveaways. Uh, first off, I, I should have mentioned this right up front and I forgot, but all Envy um, styles are 20% off at Wig Studio One. And the discount is automatically applied at checkout, so there's no code. And today, for those who are joining us, and if you've commented, that's all that it takes to enter, is to, um, oh, wait, we were gonna ask that you follow Envy Wigs and uh, Wig Studio One, and um, also comment here, and then we will draw for five free water bottles. So these are really great, they're misters. I call them water bottles, but they're actually spray bottles. Um, they do have our Wig Studio One logo on them, and they're very, very popular in the wig community and around the house for lots of different things. So we'll be giving away five of those. And then we're also going to do um, Wig Studio One is sponsoring five $25 gift cards. So um, I'm not sure if we have the capability to announce the winners while we're still live. So if so, we will absolutely do that. If not, just bear with us. We will make sure that that is taken care of by the end of the day today and reach out to those people um, who are who were selected. So um, that's all I've got. We've got some giveaways, five $25 gift cards to Wig Studio One, five Wig Studio One spray bottles. 
and um, 20% off all envy at Wake Studio One. So thank also, you again for everyone for, for everyone for joining us. What was that? Oh, sorry, I butt in. Um, also, uh, there was one style um, mm -hmm. that we wanted to announce. Um, you'll have to follow Wig Studio One and V Wigs and Wigging with Christy. I want to thank Christy for um, all her help and input, sharing the style, pictures, reels. We so appreciate you, um, along with Andrea. Um, so when, uh, someone who comments and follows those pages will be a lucky winner of one of the four styles in your color of choice. So, um, just let us know what, you know, what style you love, comment, give us, um, all that feedback. We love to hear what you have to say. Um, and thank you to everybody who have contributed, commented. Um, we just, we just love seeing the excitement and um, answering any questions that might be out there in the community. So anyway, um, thank you again, Christy and Andrea. I appreciate you guys. I was so thank thrilled you. to collaborate and take over your wig, uh, wig studio on Instagram today. For those who <laughs> didn't see the posts and stories, hop on over there. Um, Facebook, I believe, and on definitely Instagram, check out the stories um, and the posts because there are different videos behind the scenes showing, you know, the models um, showing various colors in these four new styles um, with a lot more details if you want to go back and and read about the cap construction and um, all the, the nitty gritty information regarding these four awesome NV styles. All right. Well, thank you, Amber, for hosting this, for inviting Christy thank and you. I. Um, thank you. We're so grateful, and this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for taking over our Instagram for a day. That was fun. We've never done so an Instagram fun. takeover, so very cool. And um, I hope everyone has a beautiful afternoon, a great evening, and a wonderful week ahead. And uh, thanks again, ladies. Take care.